So guys, finally we have something which doesn't look like stock Android. Meet Octavio is based on Android 11. Plus this is the first Android 11 ROM that comes with features and customization. So if you're bored with those boring stock Android ROMs, then install this one as it will give you completely new user interface. So in this video, I'm going to install this ROM and will let you know its performance, features, battery life and I will also show you how to install this on your phone. So let's get started. So I installed this latest Android 11 ROM in my 3 year old smartphone and it's working great, that is no problem. Now there are two versions, one with Google Apps and one without. So if you install the one with Google Apps, you get this pre-installed pixel launcher for free. So you can swipe right and enjoy your Google feed. But if you install the vanilla version, then you won't get any Google Apps. You can choose that if you want to focus on your privacy and want to install Kali Net Hunter or something else. So apart from this launcher, this ROM is nothing like stock Android. And that's the reason I installed this ROM. So as you can see how this setting menu looks and it's highly inspired from Oxygen OS, but it's not the same. Neatly organized setting menu is great. And as you can see in the about, this is Android 11, the security patch is latest 5th November and as a bonus, you get this smooth AF kernel. So this is a custom kernel designed to give you extra performance and battery life. And here is a little secret, this smooth AF kernel is actually Ryzen kernel, which I reviewed last week. This is dedicated gaming kernel, so if you install this ROM, you get this kernel for free. And unlike my previous Android 11 ROM, in this, in the recent menu, you get this Smart Select feature. So when you tap on this Smart Select, now you can select any text from any window in the recent menu. And not only is properly organized, but at the very bottom, you get your device specific features. Like for my Redmi Note 7 Pro, I get violet parts. Now in this menu, you will get features which is only designed for your phone. So let's say if you install this on your OnePlus phone, then you will get OnePlus parts. And here I can make some system level changes. For example, I can change my display colors. I can change AC Linux mode. I can enable the fast charge, especially if you have USB 3 PC. And with this new feature, now you can increase your volume by Mi Sound Enhancer. When you enable this, you get extra audio boost in your speaker and your headphone. And also in the system navigation, you get option of having no buttons, two buttons or three buttons, whatever you prefer for your multitasking. And also there is one tiny feature which I really like. When you double press your power button, you directly open your camera. Really nice shortcut to have. Now let's talk about the main features. All the features you will find in this Octavio Lab. First, you get RGB accent. You know you can easily change your accent colors. Then you can customize your power menu. I like to keep it minimal. You also get always on display. And then here in the lock screen, you get lock screen customization. You can enable lock screen charging info. My personal favorite is this fingerprint animation. And here in touch and tap UI, you can enable long press power button to activate your torch. Then we have these few common customization like status icons. You can show 4G instead of LTE. You can also change your Volti icon. Speaking of Volti, Volti is working great in this room. And of course, three finger screen sort feature is available too. And then in privacy, you have this privacy manager, my favorite feature, especially if you have apps like Facebook. Here you can disable any app to use your location, your calendar, call logs, and any other private information. So basically, this is the first Android 11 ROM to include all these features and is stable too. You can definitely use this as your daily driver. I have been personally using this for last 3 days and I haven't found any bugs so far. The only problem I face is while screen recording and playing PUBG, my phone overheated a little bit. But that problem can be solved with the next update. So overall, this is new perspective to look at Android 11. And now I will show you how to install this on your phone. So first of all, download these three files from description box below. 
now you can use any recovery you want i'm using orange fox so once you go to recovery wipe everything except internal storage and then first install the latest firmware and then the main room file and then fcrypt disabler make sure you install these three files otherwise your phone won't boot once you install them the first boot will take around 5 to 10 minutes like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel and i will see you tomorrow